guys, uh, today I have for you an overview of the Simapo NCPC and Multicam. Um, first impressions out of the box, uh, this thing is the best piece of gear I've ever owned. Um, the quality on it is fantastic uh, and just the plate carrier design um, in general is, it, it, it just blows me away pretty much how comfortable it is. Um, uh, versatile it is, uh, just kind of everything combined into one, one uh, package. Um, so anyway, uh, this is obviously a replica of the Cry Precision CPC um, with a few variations because it is the Navy version. Um, NCPC, uh, according to SMAP or what they call it, is the Navy Command Plate Carrier. Uh, CPC. Um, on the cry version stands for cry cry plate carrier i believe uh so what whatever the technical name is i don't know but uh that's just what smackle calls it um there, there's so many features on this thing uh it, it, this might be a longer video so i apologize in advance but hopefully um, if you're watching this you're as interested in it or excited about it as i am uh, so anyway let's get into it uh, the front the front plate bag here, uh, this is a large model, so MAPO uh, replicated the large model instead of the medium uh, because I believe that's just the one that they had on hand. They are coming out with a medium version uh, for those of you that are a little bit smaller. Um, I'll get into sizing and all that kind of stuff. I'll show it what it looks like on me a little bit later in the video, uh, so stay tuned for that. But anyway, this is a, a large plate bag, uh, both rear and front. Um, so it, it can hold your large plates. Right now I have some uh, medium sized uh, kind of hard foam plates in here. Um, so, I mean, it, there's room for more plates, but it fits a medium plate just as well. Um, it's not loose or anything. It doesn't bounce around. Um, and you can adjust it with the kind of the bottom Velcro system. Uh, but anyway, starting the front, uh, you have your Velcro up top for patches, whatever you want. It's pretty standard on most plate carriers. Uh, behind that you have this internal admin pouch. Um, you, in there you can hold up anything you want. Right now I have like a Leatherman multi-tool, a map. Um, there is a row of bun or yeah I think it's bun like bungee uh, elastic uh, webbing in here. There's they're roughly the size of about you can feel like a pen or a sharpie in there. I wish they were a little bit larger, just so you could hold something like this in it. Uh, but you know, that's it's not it's not it's not too big of an issue uh, for me. Anyway, uh, moving down, you have your internal kangaroo pouch. Again, this is pretty standard on most plate carriers nowadays. Uh, you have your three uh, three slot system with your uh, built-in bungees. Um, Kind of one of my, I wouldn't say concerns, but just kind of like a question that I would have for some ample is uh, these two outer uh, pouches or slots, uh, they're wider than the middle one. And for me, I, that's fine because I run 7.62 and I can fit 7.62 mags in the side ones perfectly, so I don't have to modify it in any way. Um, but the middle one, if you're running an, an AR, uh, I tried fitting an AR mag in the middle one and it's very tight. Um, where the two elastic uh, dividers are. Um, it's doable, but you're definitely not gonna be uh, kind of doing a quick quick reload if you're gonna put something back in there. It is quite tight and you're gonna have to wiggle it around and mess with it a little bit. Um, so whether it's like that on the real CPC, I don't know, but that's kind of my, my one kind of question or concern um, I have about the front system. Um, underneath that, you have, again, pretty standard, your uh, Velcro system enclosure for the cummerbund. Uh, the cummerbund system, it's pretty elaborate. Right here, you have this um, kind of a, I don't know, slot or something. Uh, and this, in the inside of here, as well as the internal frame, you have kind of a hard plastic piece that runs through the entire thing. Um, so it does give the plate carrier a rigid feeling. Um, it helps with comfort. Uh, but again, I'll get into that a little bit later. But this uh, piece here, 
when you're going to put this on or off, this slides into this slot right here. Um, and you can either do it by itself or it also has this Velcro system that you unvelcro that, slide it through, and then Velcro it back around so that this is secure. Um, it does stay pretty secure if you're not doing the Velcro system, so I want to be it, it, either or, essentially. Uh, but on here you have kind of this uh, kind of this rubberized fabric um, or rubberized texture. I don't know what it is. It, it feels kind of like Hypalon, if you know what that is. Uh, it's the same material that uh, Cry uses for their JPC shoulder uh, straps. But anyway, this material kind of helps or prevents the the little slot thing from sliding out on you. Um, anyway, then once that is placed in, you have this Velcro system, and this essentially tightens, um, or is just another means of securing uh, the harness system into or onto the front of the plate bag. Um, so I, I'll try and do this real quick. Anyway, there's that put inside, and then you obviously go like this. Um, I can't really see what I'm doing, so hopefully I'm doing it correctly or whatever. Um, and then you have your skeletal cummerbund system, uh, which is again another Velcro piece that you would go on there. Now, before I do that though, uh, one of the differences between the CPC and the NCPC is that the NCPC comes with this skeletal cumber, cummerbund system. Um, I really like it. Uh, I, I've only kind of like seen the real CPC in person a few times, but I, I've never tried it on. But on that one, essentially you have kind of a, a solid flap, I believe it is, or a solid cummerbund instead of this. So this saves you um, a little bit of weight, not a whole lot, but a little bit of weight because of the fabric missing. Um, but yeah, and then this also, just like their JPC, or the Cry JPC, um, has a little uh, kind of plastic piece, or hard plastic piece running through this uh, to give it extra rigidity so it doesn't flop around or slouch on you when you're putting bag pouches on it or it's getting weighed down by some other pouches. Uh, so that's a nice feature. Uh, I really like that about the NCPC. Uh, the mounting system for this, I really, I honestly haven't messed with it a whole lot because it's came sized out of the box for me pretty much perfectly. Um, but it's, there's like a button strap system and, a, and I guess you can move it around or tighten it, loosen it, but you know, I'm not really gonna mess with it. Um, one thing the SMAPO and CPC comes with is it comes with these two um, mags, like stretch M4 pouches. Um, these do not fit 7.62, in case you're wondering, um, but they're pretty cool. Uh, Samapo, they use all genuine multicam. They try and use pretty much the exact same products that Cry uses on their CPC. Um, so this stretch material, which is also along the sides of the plate bags, um, that's the genuine stretch material that uh, Cry uses. I don't know what it's technically called, but it's the genuine stuff. Um, but anyway, this is hold, held on by three Velcro straps here. You can see one here, um, three on the top and then three on the bottom. Um, and because the inside of this cummerbund system is, or this frame system is kind of like a uh, fuzzy, fluffy fabric, I don't know what to call it. Um, you can take this and kind of move it around how you want it and put it in uh, wherever. Uh, and one thing I will say though is you are, you can move it around, but you're pretty limited on space. It's pretty much here or on the other side. It does come with two of these, so there is one on the other side. Um, but if you're not using it, the built-in em embitter pouch here, uh, I guess you could put it over that and lay this flat. Um, but if you are using putting a radio or something in here, you're really only gonna have one position for this. Uh, but it, again, it is a nice feature. It's pretty cool that SMAP will includes it. It's genuine, whatever. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to close this up completely as I want to show you the inside of the frame. Um, put this on here real quick. Um, but anyway, like the real CPC, Samapo includes uh, some pads. 
Uh, and these are Velcro, so you can take these on and off. Um, they're not the thickest, but I'm guessing they're pretty similar to how cries are. Uh, so that's nice. Uh, it does add a, a bit of comfort uh, for the wearer or the user. Um, different from the cries, normally you'd have the cry precision kind of C right here, a uh, little logo. On these, you have the Samapo kind of crosshair logo. Uh, so that's a little different, but again, you know, it's it, it doesn't really matter, I guess, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, it comes with uh, eight of those, I believe. You got four on each side. You got four kind of smaller ones, which run on the back here, and then the two sides on either side. Uh, that, But again, you can adjust them, move them around where you want, whatever is most comfortable for you. Um, I'll get onto the shoulder pads quick before I go to the back here. Um, the shoulder pads, uh, honestly, they're one of my favorite parts about this thing, um, or at least what I was most surprised about. The padding on this is extremely thick, um, or maybe I, I'm, I just think it's extremely thick because I've been running a JPC for a little while uh, where there's virtually no padding, but they're extremely thick, um, they're extremely comfortable, um, and I, I love them, honestly. Um, but yeah, so they're really thick, again, whatever. Right here, you have an ITW Nexus buckle. Uh, this again is the real buckle that they use on the Cry, as far as I know. Um, so that's pretty cool. One thing I will say about this is that when you're, when you're wearing it and the plate carrier is kind of like shifting around on your body, there is a little bit of creaking that goes on with this thing. Uh, it's not gonna break, obviously, because it is a high, high quality buckle, but there is a little bit of creaking, so just keep that in mind. Um, right here, you have kind of your strap adjustment system. Uh, you would unvelcro this, and that would, then you can adjust it however long, short you want it, whatever. Right here, you have a pull tab. You also have one on this side. There's a little Velcro thing so you can secure it down. Uh, but these run along inside here. And, and these are pretty much for maritime operations or any other type of scenario where you would need to ditch the plate carrier quickly. Um, you would essentially yank on both of these and uh, pull them out. And that would release the back they, they run through the back plate bag, they connect the harness to the plate bag, and that would release that, and so the plate carrier essentially kind of falls away as you kind of pull it apart from you, um, and that is for if you fall in the water, this is dragging you down, because you got a bunch of weight on it, um, or you just need to lose it quickly. Um, so that's pretty cool, and as far as I know, this is, these are like kind of the genuine material uh, or pull tab things that Cry uses, so again, another cool added feature. Back here on these uh, metal, I don't know, buckles, hooks, I don't know what to call them. Uh, but they're metal, uh, I'm guessing just like the real cry. On here you have kind of engraved into them uh, is some Apple gear. So that's cool, just another a nice added feature that some Apple uh, took the time to do and put the extra effort and money into doing that. Um, so that's cool. Now speaking of money, uh, this, uh, shipping was like 22 bucks for this, so all told, um, this cost me around, I think it was like 342 shipped to my door. So it is a more expensive plate carrier, but this is essentially the kind of the top of the line plate carrier that you can purchase right now. And it's honestly worth every penny, um, in my opinion. Anyway, getting back to the back uh, plate bag system. Like I said, these little pull tabs run through here and kind of weave it all together. Um, that's pretty cool. So these harnesses, they are two pieces, one on this side and one on this side. Uh, that design, it both is, it both just kind of distributes weight around your body. So it just is an added feature or an added thing of comfort. Uh, but it also, because this is kind of a little bit shallower than say if you were just, uh, running a, a plate bag or a standard plate carrier on your back. This does create a little like kind of channel when you're holding, when you have it on. So it does allow, allow a little bit of airflow. So it keeps you a little bit cooler than say your normal plate carrier would. Um, you can buy some 
like uh, pig pontoons um, and run them along the inside here, which are essentially pads like this, but they might be a little thicker and they, again, push the plate carrier off your body so you have a little bit more airflow. But uh, this, in my opinion, does just fine. Um, moving on, onto the back here. Uh, you have, your, again, your large rear plate bag. Uh, up top, you have a drag handle, which has a little Velcro on it, so it will kind of tuck away nice when you're not, when you don't need it. Uh, so it's, I, I guess that's pretty cool. Um, along the sides here, you have zippers. Uh, these are genuine YKK zippers, um, or zipper panels. There's no actual zippers on these. Um, and that is for attaching kind of cry precision uh, back panels. You can buy various back panels with different pouches set up on them. So kind of mission dependent, you can swap them out real quickly instead of having to weave through uh, on the Molly all the various pouches. Um, real quick, pouches on here that aren't included so you're not confused. This is uh, Hunt's, Precision, or Hunt's Tactical uh, Crydro. Uh, this is not included. These two standard M4s are not included. Uh, this is a Hunt's uh, Tactical uh, Thermo pouch. I believe it was one of the prototype ones. Uh, I'm not sure though, but that is also not included. But everything else is. Um... So anyway, um, that kind of wraps it up, I guess. Uh, well, here. On the inside here, do this side. You do also have this little Velcro piece that runs in here. Again, that's another way of adjusting how high or low the plate carrier sits on you. Um, so just more adjustment features. Um, there's, I don't know, I, I could probably talk about this for a while, but I'm going to try and keep this a little bit shorter. Uh, one of my concerns with sizing, uh, well here, sizing wise, I'll get, a, I'll get some footage up with me wearing it without this kind of baggy jacket on so you can see, but uh, I weigh roughly 190 pounds. Um, I have a 44 inch chest, chest 34 inch waist and I'm about I'm, I'm 5'11 so this thing which is a large uh, fits me near perfect um, the the skeletal cummerbund system is a little long for me but again that's not really the plate carrier sizing that's just kind of the how this cummerbund system is um, because when I go to put everything together. Uh, I'll do this real quickly. Um, this, when you put everything out together, um, because, I don't know, for me, it's, it's roughly pretty much in the center. Both of these little flaps are. Um, so it does limit you because normally you would have a little bit more extra fabric or um, Velcro material to hold down this front flap. Um, because it's pretty much just a solid square, it does limit you. And while it is secure, uh, it, it, it is, I don't know, it, it's not as secure as say it would if the internal flaps were a little outside. Um, and so you just have some more Velcro to attach to. Um, that might be remedied. I'm not sure yet. Like I said, I haven't really played with the cummerbund system, um, but just something to keep in mind uh, with the sizing on this thing. Um, and I've heard that other people have kind of said the same thing about this, both the Samapo, the VGC, all the other kind of replica CPCs, and maybe even the real deal ones. I don't know, uh, but just something to keep in mind. Um, Another thing for authenticity, on here you have your little routing tubes. Uh, these are for comms wires, hydration tubes, whatever. Uh, but this is apparently the actual material or the same kind of comm wires that Cry uses. Uh, so again, another cool added detail that some Apple did. Um, on the inside of the front plate bag, 
you won't be able to see it. I'll throw in some footage of it so you can. Uh, but you kind of have your uh, Samapo gear tag on it. Uh, it's, it kind of mimics the Cry one, but it, it has Samapo gear on it instead. Blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah. Um, so that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, if I missed anything or you want to know specific comment or specific questions on it, feel free to ask me. Um, I can uh, look at it some more or just I'll, I'll answer your question to the best of my knowledge. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Um, you can check me out on Facebook, uh, Instagram, Corona underscore videos. Uh, yeah, so anyway, thanks for watching. Comments, questions, concerns, blah, blah, blah. I'll post them. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, so here it is kind of uh, on me. Um, sorry for kind of awkward positioning. I don't have a tripod, so this kind of got to make do with what I have around me. Uh, but anyway, um, this is a large, like I said, I gave you my dimensions. Uh, 5'11", 190 pounds, um, 44 inch chest, 34 inch waist. Uh, and this pretty much fits me perfectly. Uh, it fits two fingers below, or the top of the, the plate fits two fingers below my clavicle, um, and the bottom of the plate rests just uh, pretty much just the top of my belly button. Uh, so this essentially fits me perfectly. Uh, the cummerbund system, again, or the harness, cummerbund, everything, it's really pretty much good to go. Uh, so if you're roughly my size, I'd say go for the large, if you're a little smaller, I'd say wait for the medium to come out. Uh, but you know, it's 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 really up to you. Uh, but anyway, just kind of rehashing information. Uh, this thing worth every penny. Um, it is expensive, but once you have it, it's kind of like uh, there's really no other plate carrier that you can buy right now that uh, kind of has more features or is more deluxe or whatever. Um, but yeah. Again, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube crap.